Guys, this is the obligatory vlog for Auto Assembly 2015. The show's all done and dusted. I'm back. I'm here all in the house alone at the moment once again. Uh, back to normal, as usual, I guess. And I thought, obviously, I'll bring to you my thoughts and feelings and all that kind of malarkey and show you what I got for the convention. And all that jazz, as they say. Okay, I'll mention it straight away. I didn't buy a huge amount of stuff this year. I actually came back with uh, with more money than I went with, which I, I, I guess was a nice change. You know, usually I'd go and go, oh god, how am I going to eat this weekend and uh, somehow manage. Uh, this time I, I had no trouble with that. And like I say, I came home with cash and that's a... A nice change, but also a bit of a sad one as well. And I think the main reason I didn't buy a huge amount was because there, there wasn't that great G1 selection of toys. Well, at least from my perspective. Uh, they didn't have a lot of good pretenders. Uh, they didn't have a lot of the G2, like Stormtroopers. You know, those weird water ones that squirt water on each other. Uh, that, you know, there wasn't that kind of thing to really grab me. Uh, there was only like two brainstorms, and I didn't think I saw a highbrow. So uh, my main oomph for Transformers wasn't there, uh, and let's be fair, the only other kind of newer Transformers I was after were uh, Menaceau uh, from the Combiner War series, and uh, they were not, well, they were easier to find, um, but I was trying to justify whether I should do that or get the, Jap uh, yeah, get the Japanese one or not. In the end, they all vanished, and I didn't get any, so uh, sh shame on me, I guess. But would you be surprised if I told you, man, I did so much stuff and I didn't get to see half the people. I mean, that's a prerequisite of, like, auto-assembly, right? You you go in with the best of intentions. I'm going to see everybody. I'm going to talk to everybody. You, and you try and do it. And you, you see, like, half or less than half of the people you intended. And then kind of look at them from across the bar. The other ones you haven't seen. And think, oh, hi. I just didn't have the time. Which sounds really harsh, and it's not meant to be. It's just how it is. And I say this because I didn't get to see uh, barely any of the artists this year. Like, uh, I think I just saw Golby briefly. Like, super brief. Like, I went to the table, got my stuff, said thank you for the work you're doing. Uh, I look forward to seeing you on the book. And that was about it. Bless her as well, because uh, English is not her primary language, so I think she did incredibly well. And apparently she put the price up a little bit on her sketches. They should have been a lot higher. Those prints should have been a lot more than she was putting them for, because they were really good. Really good. I very briefly saw Alex Milne. Didn't get to see James. Uh, didn't get to see Andrew Griffith. I super briefly saw Nick. Like, uh, me and my buddy Nicole, like, accosted him as he was coming in and told him he was a horrible person for being late for his own convention intro. Uh, and, and that was pretty much it. Then I just kind of looked at him with loving eyes from across the bar. Eyes never met, though. Never met. Once again, I didn't get to say anything to Mr. Peter Spellos. Though, bless him, uh, I, I don't know whether he knows me from Facebook, uh, but he pretended that he did. And I appreciate that. <laughs> so thank you. And I didn't even get to see James, you know, the voice of Wheeljack, which was a bit of a shame, but once again, what can you do? I did get to see Somali Montano. I think that's how you pronounce the name. I may have, in fact, just butchered it. So I do apologize if I have. I'm obviously not the pretty one in this photo, but she was super nice and uh, very, very kind and had a lot of time for people, which I really do appreciate. But also, uh, you may notice in the picture, uh, Angry Man. Don't know who he is. All I know is he's very angry. As ever, my big issue with uh, conventions, especially with celebrities or just people in general, is uh, I don't want to bother them. Uh, that's my thing that I'm never really going to get over. I'm like... They're enjoying their time with person A or person B. Uh, I don't want to intrude on that. Or if they're a guest, I see them on their own. I'm like, that's their time alone. I don't want to intrude. Even if they want to, they have the option. <laughs> you know, they have the option if they wanted to, to come over and say hi. Because that would be their choice. Otherwise, I don't really want to encroach on their time. Uh, that's just a personal thing. Uh, it's nothing to do with them or the uh, aura that they're giving off. That's that's just all on me. I don't like to bother people. I never have and I uh, never will. This includes to real people as well or, you know, just normal people like Thu. I saw him uh, and uh, was surprised. I thought that man would be a seven-foot monstrosity, but he was a nice, lovely person. And, of course, I saw the usual people. Uh, I'm, I'm not going to go through all the names because, well, if you saw me and you talked to me, you know who you are. 
Uh, also, thank you to all the people who just came up to me and said, Oh, you're the weirdo that does the YouTube videos and the Moonbase 2 podcast. I'm like, that's me. Uh, <laughs> I was like, yep, uh, I'm, I'm that guy. Um, I was told uh, I'm the guy that says the messed up stuff. Uh, and you know what the funny thing is? I'm I'm much more reserved on here um, than I am in real life. In real life, I will I I have no ed well, I can't edit real life. I don't have that magical power yet. Uh, so man, I say some messed up. You think I say some messed up stuff on the podcast or on YouTube? God, you see me in person, you will see how messed up I really get. So other stuff I got up to beforehand. I had Nicole uh, Beatles Diva come over. And uh, we did some stuff. We went to a video games museum thing and played on some video games. We went down to Carlisle and hung out with Mr. Gruff and the old Oil House crew. Uh, you may know them. If you don't, you know, I will have a link for their podcast. They're pretty nutty. Uh, not like Nutella nutty, but like the insane kind of nutty. They're my kind of people. And then we headed down, obviously, for the convention. I guess that nicely leads into uh, what I got, because I'm going to include stuff that she brought over for me that I'd pay for before auto-assembly, because it was, I guess, the week of auto-assembly, and you know, let's round it all together, because why the hell not? So I have the Goblin Shredder, and the ghouls that come with him. That's pretty sick. I have these two little mini-builds from the second wave. I have uh, Creature Pack 3, I think it is, these little Murloc dudes. I also got the Goblin Zeppelin as well. I got this pretty sick-ass Hydralisk kind of uh, carapace body armor hoodie. Also got from Nicole this bag of white chocolate popcorn. It's it's basically some kind of horrific, delicious treat which gets you addicted super quick to it. It's delicious, but my god, it's sugary! Just like America. My entire house smells of this stuff. I'm not even joking. It's everywhere! She brought so much. I was super disappointed I didn't get a commission from Golby. However, I got these two prints. They are very, very cool. And obviously, this was the only thing I got signed. And she was nice enough to give me one of these Geek of the Week cards, which I have no idea what they are. But my god, they're cool. And I want more of them. And then the big one is, of course, G1 Trypticon, which I got for a steal of £90, which is ridiculously good. So that was pretty much all of the stuff I picked up. Y you know, it's, it's not a huge amount, but it's a nice bits here and there. I unfortunately have the need now to venture onto eBay and buy some stuff. However, it's seeming like there's nothing on eBay either for me either, which is a bit of a shame. As ever, was very entertaining and a lot of fun to see everybody there. Sad to be apart from everyone once more for an entire year, but that's just how it goes, unfortunately. So, I guess I will leave you on this somber note. Or this... No, let's go on a more happy note, because I will be seeing you next year. Uh, in the, you know, in the future for whatever TF Nation becomes, because I'll go to that if it's going to be the, the next kind of Birmingham-centered Transformers convention, because that's the best place where everybody can get together. So I'll be heading down there, I'm sure, but we'll wait until more information comes out on that in the near future, which I hope will be soon. But thank you, everybody who has watched this video. I hope it's been entertaining. I'm always fearful that it's not. Uh, and I will catch you for the next video, which should be a one, a Mega Bloks one that I did a while ago, but I was super busy uh, the previous week cleaning to make sure the house was all nice. But now we'll have the time to edit it, so uh, until then, thank you everybody, and I will catch you for the next video, which will be in the future, obviously. Bye-bye! I'm a Hydralisk! <laughs>